Hi guys, welcome to, to um, no, no, no. Hi guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cards. Well, we're in the workshop, but temporarily. We're gonna head on out now into the van. We're gonna go and see Ben. He's got the K20 turbo build that we've been talking about for the last, oh, quite a while actually now. We've done quite a bit of R&D in here, tons of mock-up, and it's back into his own garage now at home doing some stuff there before it will head on back here. So I'll tell you what, let's hop into the van and go and see what's going on. K20 turbo time, guys. Let's go! Right guys, here we are at Ben's garage, or should I say, cocktails and dreams. <laughs> awesome, so what we wanted to show you today, now I know there's been a bit of radio silence on this, is on the K20 turbo build. So, uh, chassis was all done at ours, we've done tons of mock-up, uh, me and Ben working on this car, tons of mock-up and fabrication on it beforehand. And then it's gone back to Ben's he's got a bit more time here in his own garage here, uh, which is suitably suited with not one, not two, but three really cool minis as well. Guys, if you're in your minis, actually, this one's going to be for sale, I think. They're all for sale. They're all for sale. If you want a mini and you want a really fast one, that's got a, what's that got in it, Ben? Uh, 125 horsepower. 125 horsepower mini. That's a lot. This has got... 165. 165. It only weighs about 700 kilos, isn't it? This one. Even, yeah. yeah, really cool. And this one 200. is 200 also. This has got a Honda uh, B series. So we're going to talk about the K series in a minute. And it's got a B series engine in there as well. So really cool bits of kit. But we'll move back on here. A bit of digression there, but I love them. Super cool. So what we've got going on is Ben has been beavering away <laughs> here and a lot's gone on. So this is a Honda K20 engine A2, mated to a BMW uh, five, uh, 330D gearbox, adapter plate, clutch, etc. All on there. Pulsar turbo, I can't remember what we've got on there now. 3076 or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Big enough to do 400 horsepower. Link pipe was all done. All the exhaust system, really, really cool. Nice shape done. It's got a 38 mil wastegate tucked under here. So didn't do a screamer pipe, we built that in to keep the noise down because it's going to be road legal. Then lots of, lots of fabrication bits. So we've got sandwich plates in here for oil coolers that's going to be done. This is going to be here, the radiator here is going to be for the charge cooler because we're going to be using a cup style nose cone. A much larger radiator, this is actually a standard radiator plus, so it's a 70 mil core plus 100 mil. Um, so it's a much, much bigger radiator that's gone on this particular one. We've got the Protect shocks and we've got the 2.2 quick rack on here. Now, it's a little bit of a different car because it's gone a different route. So it's actually gone with um, a Sierra front upright, which is how we always do the Indy RR. Always use the Sierra upright, which Ben has done a fantastic job cleaning, detailing. So it's a slightly different, bigger braking system on it. It's going to have a midi light caliper. In fact, we've probably got them. Ben have grabbed them while I'm talking. They are monsters. So we've gone in. Um, this is all fabricated. Yeah, these are. <laughs> We're talking stopping power now. These are what's going on there. Probably another 30, 40% bigger than the uh, power lights because this car potentially way more horsepower. Thank you, Ben. Way more horsepower. Now, Radiator here for charge cooler. Charge cooler is going to be sitting here under the bulkhead and under the bulkhead panel. And Ben started fabricating and making all the pipe work for that that fits off, comes off the turbo as well. Really nice. Ben's doing a cracking job. Nice little clean install. Fuel rail injectors is going to be doing next. Header tanks going to be sitting here. Everything again is sort of standard mock up positions that you're trying to play around with because you're trying to package. A lot into this engine bay and it's not that big so with this this is going to have here and going to make some kind of shroud here aren't we or you are not me but yeah shroud so we can have some sort of cold air feed driving this in and ben's made this really natty uh ecu panel wiring panel underneath here which we've laser cut and bent which is going to be really really cool now front end is all road jointed coming out to sierras rear end we'll fire that way and it's pretty much what we would do um, 
a, a sort of stock really, um, similar to the Sport 200 rear end, we've got a bush end, we've got the camber adjusters, we've gone with a Labro drive shaft on these. Um, just to make for easier access and everything else as well because we're doing a this has got a 3.62 viscous LSD in there for the gearing that we're trying to use gearing it for like 145 plus sort of mile an hour running with a standard Sierra brakes on at the moment and all that I think it'll be sufficient with the bigger front brakes and everything else that's going on this car because it is going to be a road car occasional track day type of car got our standard fuel tank set up in here and we're running a uh, some Mazda pump but with an upgraded internal, so it's just the internals of that, and we've put a bigger pump on there as well. Handbrake cables all in, all the brake lines all done, really nice, neat, clean and tidy. All the wiring looms, this is our wiring loom, all nicely tied in, fitted, really smart in there. Fuel lines all done, got a fuel return line and a inline fuel filter in there, looking really whizzy. Pop shaft and gearbox. So the BMW gearbox you can see is very different here. So we've had, this bracket's been made here to support the back housing. So it's a really nice actually feel to that, isn't it? It's a lovely. I think that's going to be really nice to drive with actually. Five speed and then a custom prop shaft making from the Ford end to the BMW engine. It's Ben's retained the rubber donut in here. It's like a cush drive donut. So I think that'll be really nice uh, on the road. Seats have been mocked up and we've got a mock-up dashboard at the moment just for running where we can do in switch gear and everything else. Um, started on the wiring I see, like the fuse box has gone in, like it's made these little fuse boxes tucked under there so the laser cut panel we accounted for, that's tucked under so you're going to have access from underneath there which will be cool. Relays is going to be housed in here, we've got room now so depending which re ECU and loom we're going to be going for, still undecided on that one, possibly max ECU. Um, but that's uh, uh, still an undecision that's got to be made. So, car's looking good. Got the billet pedal box in here that we normally use on all of them. With the bigger brakes and everything else that's going on, I mean, we know this will make 400. Um, I'm pretty confident we'll make that, and then hopefully on the lower boost, slightly less, because anything north of 300 in these, absolute blast. And that's where we're kind of at with it now, and then kind of scheme we'll do a reveal on this, because well, it's going to be slightly different to what we normally do actually so oh just on the other thing down here so on the case here is we do a water pump so the water pump is going to be sighted down here and then we have a plate there we've got up here um, so this will come off um, this is a laser cut plate that goes in here and have the takeoff for that for the in and then the hot coming out of the top on the back there and there's some other breather mods for the rocker covers so and there's still again that's a bit of an undecided factor I think that's the housing for it isn't it so that's the housing which is actually it's a nice bit of kit that look you can swivel it and put it wherever you want so that is that is nice and you've got your couple of takeoffs there for your temperature sensors and everything else so it's a nice bit of kit that will go on down in here fix up to the water pump supply that now the charge cooler not got there yet but these are the fittings that are going to be coming out and we'll have a little uh, little Bosch uh, water pump which is there it is yeah this type of affair this is going to be running the charge cooler it's just a little 19 mil outlet inlet uh, Bosch style water pump that would be more than sufficient to run this system and keep the charge cooler you know hopefully we'll be looking at sort of 10 to 15 degrees above ambient temperature outside to keep this nice and cool keep the engine like it i know these can make more power now than all in america and the usa they're all like five six hundred horsepower but 400 plus 400 plus <laughs> plus can be where we want to go but um yeah ha have you enjoyed it have you enjoyed it so far yeah always enjoy it yeah always enjoy doing it at home yeah um in my own space yeah that's it, isn't it? in an afternoon and evening yeah crack a beer open Exactly. Yeah. He's got a beer fridge. He's got his, all his all his own gear in there. If you want an yeah. ideal workshop to do something like a project in like this, in of course we, we support Ben, and it's going to come back to us anyway. In the workshop, we'll be doing some other stuff, wiring and all of that side of things, and supporting with that. And uh, yeah, but I'm sure if you've got any questions for Ben or me on this particular project, what's going on, injector sizes, I think they're a thousand, aren't they? Mm. A thousand CC injectors, you know, and there's some other bits, but you may have a load of questions on this one, um, but fingers crossed, it's motoring at a reasonable pace now, and it will stuff going off for powder coat and everything else. We'll be out this year, what, summertime? Yeah. Summertime. Hopefully June, July. June, July, that's the plan. Get this out on there. I can't wait, because I know where to go, like, it's like, super exciting to see this 
this bad boy roll up and, and see what he can do. It's one of them unknowns. We've never been there, innit? And it's yeah. super exciting to, uh, to see what he'll do. So that's it for Ben's K20 Turbo. If you want to know more information about it, I said, hook us up, phone call, email, drop us a message there, and we'll fill you in with the questions.